We are back playing some Attack of the B Team. It's really complicated walking like this. I'm telling you. <laughs> Look at this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I feel like a baby. I just learned my first steps. Anyway, welcome back. We're on the Cosmos server playing some Attack of the B Team. And, oh, 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 it's so complicated. I want to show you what I've been up to. I've been really busy. I know I'm not an animal this time. I'm, I'm me. I'm really me. I really am. It's me, I swear. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's look around. Uh, last episode, what did we do? Gosh, I don't even remember. Uh, okay, so, oh yeah, we did the pen. We did the dinosaur pen. So what I've been working on, uh, I put in a little walkway to try to join this, and I've started on the extra part of the building. I also blocked this off as much as I could, but I did run out of, um, concrete. So it's in, it's all water under there. But what I did was I put in the Koa gift shop. So I had to, if you guys remember, I had two Koa buildings over here. Actually there was three if you count the fishing dock. What I wanted to do was keep them, but incorporate them into my build. I'm still not really sure that I like kind of the inset wall. I don't really use that anywhere else and I might change it, but um, I do like what I do with the Koa gift shop. Now this is cool. Before we go in there, guys, this is something I've got to do. Um, I've got to come up with a way, and I have a couple of ideas, and I think it might have to do with this build next door. But I've got to come up with a couple of ways for people to make money for the gift shop. Now, these here are sifters. It's one of the tribal craft blocks. Really easy to make. Um, a sifter is just basically a, a bunch of planks with a glass pane in the center. So. Um, and what you do with them is you put in sand, and it's going to get night while I'm doing this. You put in sand, and I've got a lot of them, right? So, and it doesn't even matter if they're all full. That one's not full. Uh, and what they do is they'll shake it around and shake out all the good stuff. So, in a second here, it's going to explode with stuff. And like, I've got equipment to make infinite sand, so producing this stuff is not a problem. Come on, do it, do it, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> okay, so you get all, <laughs> get all these shells. Uh, also, you get this purified sand, which is pretty cool. It, Sfax at least uses the same texture. Did uh, any stuff drop down here? But um, let's pop that down here. Purified sand. You get quite a bit. Like I'd say four four blocks per whoa four blocks oh for god's sake stop falling in the hole four probably purified sand per um per sand block that you put in it is slightly different it's got like a kind of a lighter inner texture as if you can see that i like it um whoop there's a hole just pick up the rest of the stuff so these shells, this is the important part. Like if I'm going to have a gift shop, you have to have shells to trade. The Koa will not accept anything aside from, from shells, pretty much. Uh, and and they're, they, they will rip you off. I've learned the hard way. <laughs> I mean, like really though, you can... Oh, and the other cool thing about, about these shells is that you can pop them up on the, on the wall like that. Which is pretty cool. But if you come in here with like... Like for instance, right now we have leaves on sale. If you give them 21 of these shells, you'll get, you'll get 21 credits. When you buy that leaf ball, they'll take all 21 credits. So let's uh, let's see here. Let's buy something. I'm going to clear my spot on my hot bar. Uh, I bought the snorkel already. I wouldn't mind getting the flippers just to try them. So 15... So let me show you guys. 17. I've got 17 starfish. So you sell the whole stack to them. You get 17 credits. And then you punch the pressure plate. And then you punch it again to confirm the trade. And you get a set of flippers. Do I get any change? No. <laughs> Not really. Uh, kind of just ripped me off, actually. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. Uh, uh, now I've got a snorkel, and uh, I've got flippers, and 
it you know the snorkel is actually pretty cool uh if you can't turn it oh and i got i've got change i got two of these oyster things solo pearls i don't know what they're for um but look at this with the snorkel so i don't know how fast you swim with the flippers doesn't seem any different but uh you get a lot of air which is pretty cool so not complaining not complaining i like the uh you know how it kind of has a a hut or whatever that's that's good it, it obstructs your vision a bit it's really dark down there though look at this guys this is the cosmos server now i'm not criticizing but i'm just gonna say we all talked about it in the Skype chat, and we all said, oh, no one's playing vanilla anymore, and we all kind of listed different reasons why. We agreed that this pack would be great, and we'd enjoy building, and resources would be easy to get and look at. Where's all the people? They're not here. And in fact, I've been on for days, days building. I'm like prank ready. I got everything planned out for, for days, for episodes. Where are all the guys? They're not here. I don't know where they are. I could prank them, but they probably won't log on to get the pranks. So, we need a buddy. And, uh, Sicken's not around either. He's He's got some life circumstances that are going on. He did build a base. Ooh, look at this. It is a Tropograph skeleton. These guys are pretty rare. Hey! No! No spearing! Get out of here. Oh, crap. Every time I kill one. Every time I kill one, I turn into to, uh, a skeleton. There we go. Oh, I hear them. You hear them? I just dropped my sword. Where are you, little monkey buddies? Oh, there you are! I think it's time to have a monkey. Not just any monkey, a special monkey. So, uh, I've tried a couple of things to capture these guys. The entity mover, no go. I can grab pretty much anything else with it, but not a monkey. So I went out and I made a safari net and a safari net launcher. And now, release mode, capture mode. Boop! <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, you got a name. To name a monkey, uh, you have to name it. I think it's in the safari net. I don't know if you can apply, I think you can apply a name tag to a monkey, but it doesn't stick, like after a reboot, or after the chunk unloads, or whatever. So we'll try this. Name tags are relatively easy to make. Uh, I guess I could have done this upstairs, but maybe we'll do this upstairs, because I hate it down here. This is something else we're going to talk about after. Clean your room, man! <laughs> Looks like hell. Uh, okay, so I made an anvil. Bing! Okay, so I think... You just put your okay first of all we need to name the name tag and I'm gonna name this after a good friend of mine who uh, used to play a lot of Minecraft Oop, not in caps a lot of Minecraft with the king of monkeys king monkey and then we will stick this in here no no can't do that oh do you just do you just rename the safari okay I think this is how you do it then. Let's see what happens when we release the little guy. <gasps> yeah, baby! <laughs> hey, buddy! Where you been? Where you been? What? You been busy? Playing Lego, probably. Alright, get back in the ball. Boop. Now let's try releasing him again. Make sure it sticks. Yoink! Oh, sweet. It worked. <laughs> I think what we're going to do with this guy... Um, He's probably going to be our bartender for the King Kamehameha Club. So I think when I design the bar up here, I'm going to set it up so that I can have a monkey in there. Uh, I think for now, I'm a little afraid. Like, I could let him run loose. Uh, probably should. I'm just afraid he's going to drop off into some dangerous area. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll throw him down here. Hey, big guy. How's it going? Oh, that's so awesome. I'm going to capture more of my friends and make them monkeys. I'm going to have to see. Yeah, that's good. We have a friend finally. Ah, oh, there's hope. There's hope for the uh, <laughs> for the Cosmos server. All right, uh, let's put this crap away. I've I've kind of got a bunch of little. Oh, I have no space left in my inventory. Kind of have a bunch of little projects planned for today. 
the last thing that I want to show you guys is water. No, that, that's just me falling off the edge. Wait. Don't despawn on me, please. I don't think he will because he's named. So I think once that's done, they, uh, they don't despawn. Because in the wild, they do despawn. They're not like vanilla mobs where like a cow loads with a chunk and that cow will always load with that chunk. Um, these guys disappear forever. So I've had a couple of problems, hiccups. I've done some expansion. I've had issues. I've had things break with the power system. And I wanted to show you guys what I've done. It's definitely gotten more complicated. I moved the water back a little bit. I've made a few extra engines, as you can see here. Um, and I put in, in I put in hardened energy conduit because it can handle 400 RF per tick instead of 80. That's why I only have four hooked up because four times 80 is 360. If I add another one, it'll be at 420. So that's pretty much near the max that line can hold. Um, I had 8,000 wood in this box yesterday when I logged out. Today when I logged in, well, now I've got 1,011, but today when I logged in, zero. And all the engines out of power. Really strange. I had a couple of different things that were causing that problem. Um, I didn't have this in here. I was just feeding wood directly to them. And you can see everything stuffed, right? And actually, that's okay. But originally, this was just an item conduit line. And it, I noticed I had this set to push out, uh, no, this, set to, no, <laughs> come on, work with me, not that. I had this set to stack, push a stack of 64, and so what was happening is the first engine that would try to receive it, if it had like 40 wood in it, uh, it would dump the rest of the stack on the ground. So I was losing a lot of wood because of that. Now, the other thing is, is I had a whole bunch of other things tied into it. Uh, that are currently disconnected for troubleshooting purposes. So I put in a sludge boiler, which is off. And I don't know if, when it doesn't have sludge to process, uh, if it um, uses energy or not. It produces a ton of crap. A ton. Most of which I probably won't use. Uh, some of it I might. Like pile of ashes, you can turn that into coal. Uh, tainted soil probably can't I can't think of anything to use that for sand yes clay yes some of the stuff is just not appealing to me I don't know we'll see so I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with that uh, I, I'm gonna hook it back up I'm gonna hook up one extra system at a time um, but yeah so this is the kind of the new design so what I did was um, geez from last time I had hoppers the last time you guys looked at this so I switched out the double chest for a deep storage unit I switched out the hoppers for uh, item conduit with pneumatic servos to control the flow. I found, or I, I'm theorizing, I couldn't find any hard data online, but I'm theorizing that coal, or charcoal, is more efficient energy-wise for burning steam than wood. So far, I mean, I've been logged in for an hour since I put this in place, We've accumulated a surplus of a thousand uh, wood, and all the engines are full of charcoal. At the same time, I'm not really doing anything with the power right now. It's kind of idle. Uh, we still have a, just a normal chest for apples that I've had to empty a few times, um, and that's basically it. So it's slow though. I only have one furnace, so if I do start consuming a lot of energy, uh, it can't keep up, and I'll have to look at that. These guys pretty much burn 20 RF per tick. Uh, the engines will produce 80 RF per tick. So if I add four of these, that's one engine's basically negated. You know, the power would exclusively be used to burn the charcoal when it needs fuel. Um, so anyway, that's what I did. Uh, in addition to that, I made a few changes down the line. This is kind of where the saplings get routed. And what I did, I put in a deep storage unit and another pneumatic servo. We are accumulating a ton of saplings. We can store quite a bit in these guys. And that's why it's stuffed on this side. And same thing with over there. Anytime I have like a, a deep storage unit, I put in a servo on the other side. And uh, it's going to show stuffed because this is full. But when there's an opening, it will grab a sapling and it will send it. Um, I probably could reduce this to one as well now that I think about it. I don't, I don't need it set to 64. It could be dumping saplings on the ground. So we'll reduce that. I'm really not too worried about this not filling up. 
Like, there's plenty of time where trees need to grow, and this could replenish the space up there with new saplings. So the sludge boiler, I disconnected it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to hook it back up this episode. I want to maintain, or I want to run this for a little while, and just maintain it and make sure that I accumulate a surplus of wood. Jeez, I'm even thinking I might even end up moving the furnace back a bit and putting another one of those um, deep storage units in and just see if I can accumulate a stockpile of charcoal. I'll, I'll think about that. It's a possibility. Because when you run out of fuel and you need it, it really sucks. Um, now, that's the power stuff. It's changed a bit. This is going to end up being a long episode. I wanted to show you guys because it's been pretty significant. It's been pretty broken. I also severed the line down here. This goes to the wheat farm. I broke it because I wasn't sure if the wheat farm being idle, it's broken right now, uh, was contributing to my problem. We're going to fix it right now, though, so now we can hook it back up. First thing I'll, I'll mention is I, I switched it all to hardened dirt. Uh, I did a little project in the main world where I, I put a little zombie harvesting machine together, the punji stick. It works really well. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments, and I'll show you in another episode. This thing's been stuffed for a while. <laughs> uh, so I have like uh, 1,400 wheat. Uh, I, the problem is I can't... I, I have no way of dealing with all the excess seeds. So if you look here, it's just jam-packed full of seeds. Um, kind of didn't really think this through. What I need to do is be able... And I don't know, there's got to be probably another use for seeds. We need to look into that. But what I need to do is I need to put in a storage system for seeds. And these guys can hold quite a bit, so this is what we're going to use. Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to flip this to out. Put a pneumatic servo. Put a multimeter in it. Put a pneumatic servo in it. And we can keep it on blacklist and just put nothing in there. Uh, and then just put it to low and reduce the stack size again. Otherwise, if the receiving end can't take the stack, it'll just shoot everything out on the ground. One should be fine. It takes a little while for wheat to grow, even on this soil. So this thing's full. Um, so there you go, it's starting to accumulate already. And let's just test this out. Let's take a stack out. Should get one in a second. Mind you, it's it's replenishing up there, but let's see here. <laughs> In theory, it should work. It's on. There's no reason it wouldn't accept it. Uh, oh, you know what we need to do? Oh, I bet you we stuffed the line. We need to make sure that... Oop, we're going to have to fix this. I just broke it. I probably planted trees. By mistake. Yeah, we need to... We can pull out the pneumatic servo that's right here. It's hard to do this while you're flying. Um, and what we'll want to do is we'll want to put a filter on the other side so that it's just grabbing wheat. Uh, not wheat. Seeds. Right here. And we need a clear spot in our inventory. And we're going to whitelist seeds. And the stack size is sending. So that doesn't matter. Uh, and we don't, I, don't think, I don't think the controls matter on a receive. So, but we'll set it to low anyway, because I don't have a lever. And that should work. Yeah, that's working. And over here. Let's go see if it's stuffed. Nope, it's not stuffed. So that is working. That's better. So this is producing quite a bit. Uh, what's weird about this area is I don't have a chunk loader. So I was kind of surprised to log out with like 7,800 wood and log in with no wood. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Like I have no form of chunk loader whatsoever. Um, I was thinking about putting one in, but uh, I haven't done it yet. So I don't know. That's kind of weird. It's like kind of like these machines. Maybe that's just a... I have no idea. I can't even guess. 
I think we've got it fixed, though. I think that's going to take care of that, hopefully. So that's kind of a really, that's a big update episode. I wanted to cover quite a few things. I've been really busy. I've put a lot of time in on here. Uh, maybe it doesn't show. It's kind of like I've done a lot of building episodes lately and stuff on camera. And that's super cool because you guys get to see some of the progress I've made. But running out of power really sucked. Like I'm trying to grind sand uh, with the pulverizer to make the sandstone. And it's all gone wrong and broken on me <laughs> like several times. Every time I log in, I have no power. And that is why I wanted to show you guys what my plan is to fix that. And next episode, hopefully, we'll have a little bit more progress if the power system um, can continue to run without breaking on me. So, guys, if you have any suggestions for uh, other ways to generate power in Attack of the B-Team, please, please leave them in the comments. I do know I have a bioreactor somewhere down here. I was thinking about eating up uh, excess saplings and then turning that into fuel. But I'm totally open to any ideas you suggest. If it's feasible and I can accomplish it, uh, I would like to try to implement it. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. A lot of progress has been made. Hopefully next episode we'll have a bar. But there's things that need to come along with that. Like uh, we need like tree farms for fruits and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> and that is it for today. So, oh, my monkey's gone. No! I gotta find my monkey. Dang it! <laughs> Crap! Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody! Uh -huh.